For this example, we will look at the in-order traversal of a tree structure. So for the in-order traversal, we primarily will deal with the left, then the node, then the right. So we will apply this algorithm to each node and based on it, we'll try and get our output. So I'm just going to clear off what we have. So what we'll call here down the bottom, we'll call our output. And this is what we expect to get um, as output from our in-order traversal of our tree structure. So this is the algorithm we're going to follow, which is our left, then the node, then right. That's the sequence we're going to follow. So I'm going to use the arrow as a pointer just to indicate exactly which node in the tree structure that we're operating on. So for the traversal, everything always starts at root. So we're at the root of our tree, which is F. So I'm going to apply the algorithm. So first is left. Can I go left? Well, the answer is yes, I can. So I'm going to bring my arrow down and we're going to move down as far as B. So I apply the algorithm again. So at each node, we're going to always apply the algorithm and follow the sequences through. So uh, apply the algorithm. Can I go left? Well, yes, I can. So down I go. So I'm going to apply the algorithm here at A. And it's going to say, can I go left? Well, A has no children, i.e. there's no descendants under the node A. A is a leaf. So I apply the algorithm, can I go left? Well, no, I actually can't. So the next thing is, uh, have I already dealt with the node? Well, we haven't actually dealt with the node, i.e. get the information stored in the node and output it. So we're going to write down A. I'm going to apply the, apply the algorithm again. Can I go left? No, I can't. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Can I go right? S similar to left, A has no children, so we can't go right. So I've satisfied the conditions of the alg algorithm. I can't go left, I've dealt with the node, and I can't go right. So at this stage then, we move back up to the parent object, which is B. So now I'm at B. Rerun the algorithm. Have I gone left? Well, yes, we, we have gone left, so we won't go left again. So that has been satisfied. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't dealt with the node. So I'm going to write down our next output, which will be B. So I'll rerun the algorithm again. Have I gone left? Yes, we've dealt with left. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I've dealt with the node. Have I gone right? Well, I haven't gone right. So we can go right and we'll move down to the D node. Run the algorithm again. Can I go left? Well, yes, I can. So down we go left and move down to the C object. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? No, I can't. C has no children. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So we can very quickly output the value of C. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? No, can't go left. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Can I go right? Well, similar again. C has no children. I can't go right. OK, we've satisfied the three conditions of our algorithm. So once these have been satisfied, we move up one. So we move up to the parent, which is D. Uh, have I gone left? So yes, we have gone left in the tree structure. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So very quickly, I'm going to output D. Rerun the algorithm. Have I gone left? Yes, we've gone left. Have we dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Can I go right? Well, yes, I can. So I will go right. And we're going right down to deal with our E node. So can I go left? No, I can't go left. No children. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So I'm going to very quickly output E. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? No, I can't. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Can I go right? E has no children. I can't go right. So logically, I move back up to the parent. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go? Have I dealt with left? E left? Yes, I have. Have I dealt with the node? Well, yes, I have. Have I dealt with right? Have we gone right? Yes, we have. Okay, three conditions have been satisfied. I move back up. 
to the parent, which is B. Rerun the algorithm. Have I gone left? Yes, I have. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Have I gone right? Yes, I have. The conditions have been met and we move up to the parent, which is F. Rerun the algorithm. Have I dealt with the left side of the tree? Yes, I have. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So A, B, C, D, E, and now we write down F. Rerun the algorithm. Obviously, yes, have we dealt with the left side of the tree? Yes, we have. Have we dealt with the node? Yes, we have. Uh, can I go right? Well, yes, yes, I can. We haven't gone right yet. So here we go. Down as far as I. Run the algorithm. Can I go left? Yes, I can. At the nodes called H, can I go left? Yes, I can. Down at the G node, can I go left? Well, G has no children. No, I can't go left. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So let's deal with the node. Write down the letter G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? No, I can't. Have I dealt with the node? Yes, I have. Have I gone right? Well, there's no children to G, so we can't go right. So we've uh, satisfied the three conditions. We move up. Rerun the algorithm. Uh, have I gone left? Well, yes, I have. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. So very quickly, deal with the node. Write down the letter H. Rerun the algorithm. Have I gone left? Yes. Have I dealt with the node? Yes. Can I go right? Uh, there's no right node associated with, with H, so we can't go right. So back up to parent we go. Rerun the algorithm. Have we gone left? Yes, we have. Have we dealt with the node? Well, no, we haven't. Let's deal with the node. So let's write down the letter I. Rerun the algorithm. I can't, have we gone left? Well, yes, we've dealt with left. Have we dealt with the node? Yes, we have. Can I go right? Yes, yes, I can go right. So let's go right. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? Yes, I can. So down we go to J. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? Well, J has no children. No, I can't go left. Have I dealt with the node? No, I haven't. Let's deal with the node. So now I put down J. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? J has no children. Can't go left. Have we dealt with the node? Yes, we have. Can I go right? J has no children, so we can't go right. Satisfy the three conditions. And we move back up to the parent. Rerun the algorithm. Can I go left? We've already dealt with left. Have we dealt with the node? No, we haven't. So let's deal with the node. Write down the letter K. Rerun the algorithm. Have I gone left? Yes, we have. Have we dealt with the node? Uh, yes, we have. Can I go right? No, we can't. We've traversed our structure, uh, dealt with the content of every node. So our output is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and K. So all of the letters or all of the information that's stored in our nodes are letters of the alphabet that have been stored in order for us. So this is an example of the in order traversal.